First concept we're going to look at uh, in Michigan's quick game is their T-bubble stuff. Um, I really like this. Great way to stay ahead of the sticks. Michigan has multiple really good tailbacks, three-headed monster back there. Uh, I think this is great for high school offenses. It's one thing to, you know, run bubble screen. That, that's a really common, uh, you know, play at any level, uh, you know, offensively. And, and obviously the running back running that bubble is not something novel. But Michigan does a couple things I really like. Uh, both formationally uh, and in how they block it and protect it that I think make it a really valuable play in their offense. So here's the first of those that I really like um, where they'll go tight bunch. Again, motion the back out early. Again, always in some kind of 11 or 12 personnel. So sometimes, you know, even two of these guys might be a tight end. Here the Y is a tight end body. Um, and they're going to use this kind of condensed set to create space here on the perimeter. Um, and then block down to make sure that the, you know, the overhang player and the linebacker to the side of the call um, aren't able to expand and get into that space. And then they're going to pull around for the, you know, whatever that next flat player is. Here it's the corner. Often with this tight bunch, you'll get it as the corner. You know, just make the safety try and come off the roof to make that play. Um, and then we'll we'll show you some some plays that they run off of that as well to make that um, you know much more difficult for that safety. So what you'll get also on the front side is both you know the guard to some extent they'll slide always to the side of the bubble, um, but the tackle to the side of the bubble is almost working like a reach technique, like a mid or wide zone. Again, just making sure that this guy a can't get up the field if you do that you know traditional pass set, or even if you quick set if you miss, he can kind of redirect and make that play. So they're basically just run blocking this defensive end of the side of the call. On the backside, they'll run some kind of choice concept, you know, wide release hook if it, or fade if it's one-on-one. -on -one, you know, they can take that back there. Um, but uh, often, again, doing this out of, um, you know, formations as well, like we'll get to with our next one here. We got a tight end on the backside. So they'll max pro it as well. We see here um, exact same concept. But now if, if you're worried about getting that pressure or if you're going to get a different coverage shell with the Y over here that you like, uh, maybe they're more likely to be one high and rotate this way from a run standpoint, um, you know, with the Y over there. So they'll do that as well, which I really liked. They'll do it out of empty. Um, obviously, it doesn't have to be your tailback. Here in this example, it is. Again, the Y to the field there to block that overhang player. Um, and then they'll almost, you know, I've heard people call this like a pass-pass option um, where they have the option here. If, if this weak safety comes to the field with the tailback, we can throw the glance in behind it. And uh, if the weak safety stays there um, in the boundary, then obviously we're going to take our numbers advantage to the field. They'll also run out of two tailback personnel where they'll put the Y in the backfield, um, uh, kind of like a Y offset here. So again, very similar to the tight bunch. Just now it's 21 personnel. The H and the Y are in the game. Y is going to leave a count early. Uh, and now the Y becomes the lead block player for um, that bubble screen there, which I really like. And again, it's awesome here because you get your H, uh, you know, a better blocker on that crackdown. They'll also run this with two tailbacks. So th they run this two tailback personnel a fair amount um, where this is, you know, another one of their running backs and one of these guys is the Y. They'll run it out of that look as well. Okay, and then against Iowa, they hit this one for a bomb. So, you know, you get that free safety now or field side safety having to come down and insert himself, um, you know, into this, uh, into this kind of pass fit as the ball's thrown out on the perimeter. Um, and now you're able to, you know, stalk and go from the Z and that deep over rope from the X. The same thing you get on any, you know, typical type halfback pass. But, you know, the timing, I felt Michigan really did a great job, you know, on this concept and, um, you know, protecting. Again, they've thrown a ton of that bubble. They just bring the H down. Um, again, you get two protectors now off the edge. If, even if you get pressure over there, you know, you're, you're making sure you're nice and solid. And this guy can always keep the ball. I think that's one of the underrated things when you throw these plays. He doesn't have to throw it if he doesn't like the look, right? If this corner, you know, lifts with this vertical route um, or the free safety doesn't get involved at all, right? We can always take our one-on-one -on -one there um, with the corner. But I thought this was a great uh, play to protect, uh, you know, a really integral play of their offense. Here we're going to look at the film. Again, first and 10. Michigan's backed up here. Um, again, you see they're in 11 personnel. Interesting here, they put the Y uh, out here in the two slot or the two spot here uh, to the field, and they have a more speed player in here tighter to the core. You can see the back start opposite. Um, often Michigan would run this out of pistol. This is just a different way to get to it. Again, you see the ball get thrown on the perimeter, and you see that that's the safety coming off the roof. 
You know, and if you can block these, you know, three for three, you see this pitcher here is pretty tough. The safety's got to navigate, you know, a couple potential bodies here. Help is pretty far away with this inside backer, you know, trying to come over the top to help make that play. And you get a lot of these situations where you're able to get ahead of the sticks, get a really positive play on first down. On this rep, I don't think 76, uh, you know, would be happy with his execution here. Okay, he should be trying to really cut off this defensive end. The defensive end is a nice job getting up field. All right, so you see him. He's got a shot there to play that ball. Usually we'll see these next couple cut-ups. Almost like the slide goes the wrong way here. Okay, but ultimately McNamara is able to get it out there and you know, ahead of the sticks, get themselves in a second and two. So here again, just trips open. Got the Y and the three hole to the field here. Again, this is, you know, really common, you know, how we'd see it. Tackle kind of wide sets here. I think the timing from the back is important. You got to get width right away. Not a ton of belly. Okay, and again here, here they actually look, you know, backside for a second first. Again, they're trying to say, hey, if you go two on one, right, with our stud over here, they got six, Cornelius Johnson running that choice route. If you want to take away those options by going two on one, um, then we're going to block everybody up to the field, get the ball to our running back in space. And I always say on these, you know, how well would you have to block outside zone to get this picture, right? We're, you know, we're behind the sticks here. I know the defense is, you know, playing this a little softer. It's, I think, second and almost 16. But how well would we have to block outside zone? We're hitting the line of scrimmage. There's no, you know, the, re the line of scrimmage would be reset by two and a half yards, and we're out on the perimeter. Right, you'd have to do an incredible job blocking outside zone and ultimately almost pick up that first down to a simple throw. Anybody's, you know, high school quarterback, if if we can't make this throw, probably just can't play quarterback. So now we get into the tight bunch again. Um, love when they do it on a tight bunch because it creates that space to the field. When they do it on a tight bunch, they consistently run this almost pin and pull action. Okay, so um, you're going to get the two down blocks here on the force player and on, you know, that first inside backer. And then we're going to pull out for that corner. So you see here the tackle pretty aggressive with the set, right? Stopping uh, the forward momentum from that defensive lineman. Again, backside, they've got a high safety here. Now it looks like he is cheating back towards the middle of the field. But again, he's not in a position to, you know, help out or or spin this player down okay so ball gets thrown out again to the perimeter you know how well we have to block outside zone to get that picture now that this happens and we have all this room on the outside this guy's got to come way off the roof right we can run away from you know the any player that might be able to you know belly over top of this ball is able to get out into the perimeter You know, ultimately safety misses and you're in the end zone. Here it is from the tight. You see that more aggressive set from the tackle, right? You see the tight end and or you see the tight end there and you, you'll see the Z as the ball gets spun out there. You know, ultimately, you'll get a cut on the corner depending if that's legal in your league and into the perimeter. Same thing again from bunch here. Here you get the double tight end, or the so the tight end and the boundary, the nub tight end. Great against pressure because you're spinning the ball into the flat. Right again, you got to block up outside zone pretty good to get that look. Great job here. Um, you know I love the job by six working to the outside shoulder. Right. This guy plays physical with him, and sure, he's able to get off. But we're, uh, it might be six or five there, I can't tell. It's a great job on the linebacker. Fortunately, also, the ball's put on the ground, but you know, in terms of the X's and O's, you get what you want, you get the first down. If you're getting lots of pressure, this can be a great way to just add a little backside protection. Now we get out of empty. Again, Michigan's use of personnel I love. Very intentional. They got their H and their Y here uh, and the running back here. So they're in a 21 personnel um, personnel grouping, but we get a, a you know a, a spread empty set. Okay. 
Here we're reading the backs coming across now. Uh, obviously, same similar timing uh, and location for when the ball snap out of count early. And here we run the backside glance. And again, if we get one on one, whatever route you want to play, we don't have to throw that bubble. You know, if the defense is overplaying it or getting really aggressive. This is another wrinkle. Michigan will run off of it. So again, just base alignment here. Okay. I think they want them to know it's coming. They're running the quarterback draw off of this. See the back get out a count early. Now I think he's still reading that. Right. I think he's looking at, you know, this player here and saying, hey, if he flies out of there, we're going to have five on five in the box. We can take that all day. Right. So now. You know, ultimately makes player miss. They don't necessarily block the right five, but you can see the principle that they're looking for in the play call, right? If we get five on five in the box, we got a mobile quarterback. You know, we're gonna take some shots with the QB run game. We don't mind doing that. So whether you want, like, you can run quarterback power, like here, I, I just think they're running draw, right? Or maybe he just sees this and pulls the ball down. I don't know, but I, I think you know, there's a lot to be had here, right? Five on five, and it's tough. This guy's kind of lurking over here, and he ends up blitzing. Um, but if you wanted to run, you know, this and run, you know, like your bash counter scheme, right, where now this is the wide action off of it, and then you're reading this guy, that would be a devastating play. Really tough to remain sound. And you can obviously still get that backside guy the choice route if you like the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, and here's the payout. You've been throwing this bubble all year. Right again, you get in, you know, trips open, back to it. I'll get the next one. Here's another example of that quarterback draw. So you can get the backer out. Right, clear that space in the middle of the field. I mean, especially if you're getting this, you know, if you're getting like bracket or cone, okay, or the, any of those two-on-one backside coverages, right, where, you know, if we get an inside release, this guy's this guy going to help on it. Well, now we get two-on-one here. We get everybody flowing to the ball, you know, or the potential for the ball to be thrown to the perimeter. Lots of room for the quarterback to keep it in the middle of the field. Mike leaves. Really, really easy read for the quarterback. So again, I mentioned the two tailback stuff. So here they have one tailback lined up as an X receiver. This is a Maryland game where, uh, you know, seven, the running back, freshman running back, had like 14 catches, something crazy. So they'll lead the back out. The back is now doing, if you look at this, like the bunch, right? Here's our two down blocks. The back's leading out on the corner, right? And then there's our, uh, our bubble player. Again, same concept, just window dressing. Ran against Ohio State as well. Here we have the Y again, tight, tight split. Got the Y in the backfield. The Y is going to become that pull player. Okay, and we're going to pin these two. Okay, you see the, the tackle here do a great job, you know, knowing that that defensive end is going to try and get up the field and really run in that outside zone almost track. Again, just trying to get ahead of the sticks, get the ball to a playmaker in space. You know, it's only a five yard gain, but super consistent five yard gain. Get your quarterback feeling good. Get your receivers a chance. What's going to come next? So here's the Iowa game. So here, I mean, what's crazy about this is here they go quads. So now they're really doubling down. They're saying, hey, we're not even going to have somebody back here. We're going to get a block on the corner on the perimeter and then use the tight bunch. Okay, on that pin and pull. Again, this is all carryover, carryover, carryover. Same play, just different presentation. Again, just formationally, not a look they'd really shown. You know, chance to get your your one of your better players the ball in space. And then ultimately, you're setting this up. So, again, they bring down the number two. You got two tight ends in the game. Right, we see the athletic reach here from the tackle. This looks the exact same. Great sell by Roman Wilson. 
and a really good throw from a freshman tailback in a Big Ten championship game. But you see all year you've been setting that up. You know, I think in high school, you know, halfback pass, that, that's that's a, as old as time, right? And this is just the 21st century version, right? We're not running toss. We're running this bubble because we can do all these other things off the bubble, right? Including take that type of shot down the field off the double pass. Great job protecting one of your base plays. And ultimately, you know, something in their offense that's critical is staying ahead of the sticks.